Hi guys, today we are going to do a DIY. Oh my gosh, it has been a minute since I've done some Dollar Tree DIYs for you guys and I'm very excited about these. I actually, the idea popped in my head when I was doing a Dollar Tree haul of all items from that store that I thought were very farmhouse and one of them was clipboards and one of them was chalkboard and as soon as I saw it kind of laying together, I, like the idea just kind of popped in my head. So we're gonna be doing a very farmhouse clipboard, like almost like a command center, except I'm still decorating my house. So unfortunately I won't have um, that many like background decorations to like mold our DIY in today to give you guys some more ideas. Um, I still haven't picked out a place just yet in my house where I actually want a command center, but I do want one. So today we're going to be making these. They're just really cute, they're really simple, but I think it has that really beautiful farmhouse look. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so these poster stickers are amazing at Dollar Tree and they come in black, which I think really gives it that farmhouse element. You can definitely go with numbers or the letters and you can just maybe initial them for each child or each person in your house. Um, then you're gonna need a chalk marker. The only thing I had on hand was a jumbo one. And then the Dollar Tree clipboards, I, these specifically, the ones that have that brown look to them because they just look really raw and just earthy. Um, whereas other Dollar Tree clipboards have like patterns to it and then you're gonna need these jot chalk boards and they're the mini kind and now let's get into the step by step you guys this is so incredibly easy all I did was I took the chalk board as you can see it fits so beautifully and it also kind of makes it look like it's being framed by the clipboard. I used some hot glue for this. However, I would highly recommend that you go in with like E6000 or a Gorilla Glue of some sort because it will definitely hold out longer. I think that the um, glue stick just wasn't strong enough for it, but it does work. But I feel like if your children are kind of handling it, it might pop off. Um, so as you can see here, I'm going through four different clipboards. Um, I will link the project cost down below, but obviously a dollar for the clipboard, a dollar for the chalkboard, and then however many that you do. And you can see here that I'm going back and forth between the, do I do letters, do I do numbers? But I decided in the end that I really wanted to do numbers. I thought they had the most farmhouse look to it. So I number them one through four. The other tip that I did not do here, just to make this DIY last longer and be more durable, I would definitely take some Mod Podge and Mod Podge over the stickers. And that way they really stick and they're not gonna fall off ever. The awesome part about this DIY is the sky's kind of the limit here. You don't even have to actually use a chalk marker. You can just use this purely decorative for farmhouse. You just number each clipboard and then you just, you could leave it raw. You could also even take like a little mini wreath and attach it to the chalkboard and really make it more of a decor rather than a functional item in your house. Um, you could do decor like I just said or you could turn this into something where you would put into a command center so I'm also showing you guys here how I you can mess up and it's super easy to wipe it off I first use a damp towel and then I go back over with a dry towel and it's just that chalkboard is beautiful I'm telling you it is pretty much flawless in my opinion I'm showing you that I'm doing some decorations and then I'm also showing you that you can name each chalkboard you know maybe for each kid in the house and you could even number them for like you know first child second child third child fourth child kind of thing um, and then put their names like I'm doing here and you know they have like they have to put their homework list or their chore list or anything like that um, so you could obviously do names and then I did other things like menu grocery honeydew list and then I'm also showing you how you can 
put them up on a wall and what it kind of looks like. So that's pretty much it for the DIY. Super, super simple. And now let's go ahead and finish this up. And that's it for today's DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below, let me know um, how you would title each clipboard, what you would use them for. Um, obviously you saw me use like menu, grocery list, to clean, a honeydew list. I also put names if you wanna just isolate each clipboard for you know people in your home or your children. Maybe it's like their homework list, chore lists. Um, I had a very chunky marker, so I really couldn't do much because I haven't unpacked the upstairs yet. And, um, but definitely drop down below like what you would be writing on each chalkboard so that we can all get some additional ideas. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed and there's going to be more farmhouse DIYs. I'm gonna be decorating my upstairs media bathroom really soon and I have some more Dollar Tree um, do-it-yourself little decorations. So stay tuned for that. Click the bell and I'll see you guys there. Bye.